Hi, this is a webinar on the Classes view for the administrator using the ThinkWave system. The classes, in specific, refer to individual courses. So, for instance, for 7th grade, you'll need to create each individual course, like 7th grade Social Studies, 7th grade Math, etc. Here you enter the name and how many credits that class counts for. The credits are assigned per term. So if, for instance, you have a math course in both terms and you want it to count for one credit for the whole year, then you'd have to make it worth half a credit so that both terms would equal one credit for the whole year. And the type of final grade is selectable from this pull-down menu. You can have one or more final grades within the school. So you can have a letter grade or a percent, and if the school wants to create a custom grade, like for kindergarten, for example, that would show up here. To create a custom grade, go to Setup, then under Grading, click School's Final Grade Scales. And then at the top left, click Add. Go back to the Classes tab. Below the Grades, there's a section for Honors. You can select this if the student would get extra value in the GPA, which is also selectable in the Setup menu. Here, you have an option of excluding a class from report cards and transcripts like, for instance, a homeroom class. And here, any optional tags you would have. This is used in custom reporting functionality, so you can include or exclude classes in your calculations or views. Section is where you can note if a class is taught in multiple sections, and you can put the different section names here. You can create a new section by clicking on Add Section at the bottom. That way you have all the information in the class remain the same, but have the different sections noted if they are taught by a different teacher. Here is where you assign the period to each day. And here is where you can note the location of the class. Each day is selectable if the class meets at different periods. To add a class, click the Add Class button on the top left. And here you enter the course name, the terms it covers, and you can select one semester or both the period to be assigned if it's elementary school an administrator can create an all-day period. And here is where you select a teacher assigned to the class. Here you can enroll the students in that class. This may not be the most efficient way to enroll the students, so you can leave it blank and enroll the students in another menu, which I'll show you shortly. Go back to the Classes tab. Here's the pull-down menu where you select the teacher assigned to the class. Here's where you can reassign the teacher to the class if you have a teacher leave in the middle of a term. As mentioned before, this would need to be done before a teacher could be removed from the system. When reassigning a teacher, all gradebook and attendance data is copied from the previous teacher to the new teacher automatically. You have the option of canceling before you completely reassign the class, and it's easy to reassign the class back to the original teacher. Here you can customize the schedule whether you want the class to meet at different periods on each day, or you can customize it to have a class that lasts all day, for instance, if it's an elementary school. If you have a class that meets on Saturday or Sunday, you can add days by going to the Setup tab, selecting Days of the Week, and scrolling down to the bottom. And there you can add the Days of the Week, and that will show up in the Classes tab. And if a class doesn't meet on a certain day, you can select No Meeting. There are also very flexible options for setting up different day schedules, such as minimum days or A-B schedules. The standards and skills are completely customizable. If you click the Edit button on the right, then you can add any standards and skills for the class by checkmarking it on the left. And on the right, you have an optional category names. If you want to create a custom standards and skills, then click Create or Edit at the top left. Once you add the standards and skills you want for the class, you can arrange them in any order by dragging and dropping. Then click Save, and this is the order that they'll appear on report cards. The Classes tab is also where you can enroll students for the class, and as mentioned earlier, this is a more efficient way to enroll students because you can easily add multiple students at one time. Click the Edit icon next to Class Enrollment, and this will take you down to the enrollment page for that class. First, select the groups of students that you want on the left pull-down, and this will display all the students in that group. You can click the top mark, and it will automatically select all of the students in that group, as well as you can add a student in late enrollment and early withdraw. 
To delete a class, you have to remove all of the students from enrollment and any grade data. Then you can click the Delete button on the bottom left. You can access the gradebook for this class by selecting Visit Teacher Account at the top right. This will give you full access to the teacher's gradebook and allow you to see what the teacher will see when they log in. You can edit or change the grade by clicking on it, and the final grade is automatically tallied when you click Save. You can go into detail in By Assignment, By Student, Assignments, Final Grades by Students, and Final Grades by Class, and any of these fields can be edited. In Final Grades by Class, if you scroll down, you'll see where you can grade the students on standards and skills, as mentioned earlier. As an administrator, you can access and change all the final grades at any time. To override the final grade, click Return from Visit, and go back to the administrator view, then go to Final Grades tab, and here you can override the grades for each class. If you go back to Visit Teacher Account and select the Attendance tab, this will allow you to see the attendance records for each class or each student, as well as the comments from the teacher. Click Return from Visit at the top right to go back to the administrator view. This shows you some of the features in the classes view in the ThinkWave system. Thanks for watching.